Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today's problem have been sent to me by one of my subscribers and here's a problem in pea plants. Uh, seed shape is determined by one gene and seed color is determined by another independently segregated gene. The round pea shape which is capital R is dominant over the ring uh, allele small r and the yellow pea allele uh, capital Y is dominant over the green allele small y. Given the information below, predict the genotypes of the parents in each cross. So basically we have to put uh, genotypes here. We know phenotypes, we know uh, what is the result of crossing of these phenotypes. So what we can tell about genotype of these two parents looking here. And this is actually classical uh, dehybrid cross. So uh, we have two traits, uh, yellow and green, round and wrinkled, and two major traits, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, would make nine. Another trait which is uh, round uh, which is dominant and green which is recessive one two three another one we also have one trait that is um, dominant which is yellow and one which is uh, recessive one two three and we have one which is uh, both um, recessive for both traits so as you see nine two three to 3 and to 1. So this is a classical ratio in the hybrid cross. And we see here exactly the same. Ratio is 9 to 3 to 3 to 1. So we know that uh, we have here one parent who is um, heterozygous for both alleles and Second parent is also heterozygous for both alleles. So this is classical T-hybrid cross. Now let's take a look at a second row. The first parent has a phenotype which is round in yellow. Uh, so we can put a genotype even without knowing uh, all the probable uh, variants. But we know that this parent have to have at least one dominant allele because uh, phenotype is round and yellow which is also dominant so at least one allele have to be capital Y and we don't know uh, uh, yet what is going to be a second uh, allele but as for the second parent it is wrinkled and green so we know that uh, genotype would be small r small r and small y, small y. So we know exactly genotype of the second parent, but we don't know uh, what letters, what uh, alleles we have to put here. So let's analyze what uh, phenotypes of the progeny. And we see that um, round yellow, round green, wrinkled yellow, wrinkled green uh, are separated uh, or segregated in the ratio that is uh, about 1 to 1 to 1 and to 1. Those uh, 23 is larger than 19, but uh, relatively all these numbers are close. So let's analyze each trait separately. So first trait would be uh, shape uh, of the seed. It can be round and wrinkled. And what we see here, we have 50% uh, of the progeny that is round, 23 plus 19, and 50% which is wrinkled, 21 plus 20. Once again, numbers shouldn't be exactly the same. They have just to be close enough. So we know now that uh, progeny, 50% of the progeny is uh, round and 50% of the progeny is wrinkled. So what do you think we have to put here? If we would put a capital R here 
all the progeny would be would have round shape of the uh, seeds because uh, all the progeny would be heterozygous and would be capital R and small r. So we cannot put capital R here. We have to put small r here. So now we know that uh, this parent has dominant allele and recessive allele here. If we cross this trait, this genotype with this genotype, we expect that 50% of the progeny would be capital R and small r, and 50% of the progeny would be small r and small r. Exactly what we see here. As for the color trait, once again, if we put capital Y here, all the progeny would be yellow and we wouldn't see any green ones because in order for the progeny to be green it have to have two recessive alleles. What does it mean? It means that one recessive allele progeny got from uh, one parent and another small Y allele, recessive allele uh, progeny got from another parent because we have here uh, green here and green here 50 percent that means that this parent also has a recessive allele here so now we can move to the next row and we have here one parent that is round green and another one that is also round and green so now you can easily tell that uh, at least one Allele have to be here dominant. We don't know yet as for the second allele, but as for the green trait, we know that uh, this only can be seen when two recessive allele are present here. And second parent also round. We don't know, maybe two dominant alleles here and uh, maybe recessive allele here, still it would be round. But as for the trait green, we know that it is caused when a uh, parent has two recessive alleles. So now let's analyze what we have, uh, what phenotypes of the progeny we have. We don't have uh, round and yellow, and this is understandable. For the second trait we have only green and yellow trait is caused by uh, dominant allele Y. Both parents doesn't have this allele. And we don't have wrinkled yellow, so also uh, zero, because none of the parents has dominant Y allele. So we cannot have neither round neither wrinkled yellow at all. So we have round green and wrinkled green. And uh, as you see, proportions here would be, or ratios would be 3 to 1. And we have round 3, wrinkled 1. I ignore color because uh, color is the same. So we have round to wrinkled with ratio 3 to 1. How we can get this ratio? We can get this ratio if uh, both parents would be heterozygous. So if we cross two parents who is heterozygous, we can get uh, results where um, 75 percent would be round and 25% would be wrinkled. So let me show it here. So imagine one parent is heterozygous, another parent is also heterozygous. And when we mm, cross such parents, what we are going to get? Capital R, capital R here capital R, small r here, capital R and small r here, and small r, small r here. As you see, 75% um, 
we are going to get a round shape or this is going to be 3 and 25% which is going to equal to 1 going to be uh, wrinkled so ratio is 3 to 1 and this is exactly uh, what we see uh, here so both parents have to be heterozygous in order to have ratio 3 to 1 and next row we have round yellow and wrinkled green once again we can put uh, genotypes of the parents so round and yellow at least we know that one allele have to be dominant and for the second trait yellow also we know that at least one allele have to be dominant we don't know yet uh, what is going to be the second alleles and wrinkled green means that um, first trait would be caused by two recessive alleles and second trait also would be caused by two recessive alleles once again we completely know uh, the genotype of the second parent now we have to find uh, genotype of the first parent and let's analyze what we have here um, so let's analyze first trait first so uh, this parent is uh, has round seeds this uh, tr parent has wrinkled seeds and progeny has round seeds and has uh, also round seeds and none of the wrinkled seeds this tells us um, that uh, this parent has two dominant alleles all the progeny has round uh, seeds if we put here uh, recessive allele small r then once again uh, if one parent would be heterozygous and another parent is homozygous recessive we can expect that uh, ratio of phenotypes as follows capital R small r here small r small r here capital R small r here and small r small r here as you see 50% uh, of the progeny would be round shape and 50% would be uh, wrinkled but this is not what we see here uh, we see here that uh, progeny only round so that means that both uh, alleles for this trait have to be dominant because uh, second parent has two recessive alleles and we know it from phenotype so as for the trait which is uh, color we know one parent is green another is yellow and once again here we have yellow and green and the ratio is 50 to 50 and this is exactly what I just described in my previous Punnett square we would have such ratio if second allele here would be uh, recessive allele so if we cross this genotype with this genotype 50% of the progeny would be yellow and 50% of the progeny would be green so now we know uh, genotypes of these two parents too and this is going to be the last row so what we have here we have um, round and yellow so we can put capital R and blank space and capital Y and blank space and the second one is round and green so we can put capital R and blank space and green we can put uh, small y small y so let's analyze what we see here so uh, the first column would be round and yellow round and green and uh, 
then we have wrinkled yellow and wrinkled green. So ratio would be 3 to 3 to 1 and to 1. So we crossed parent which had a um, round seed with another parent which had round seed and in the progeny we see wrinkled and wrinkled uh, which makes um, 20 out of 80 and 20 out of 80 would be one quarter. And we are going to get one quarter if both parents would be heterozygous, so would have capital R, small r. In this case, three quarters of the progeny would have round seeds, and so this represents three quarters, and one quarter, 20 out of 80 represent one quarter would have uh, wrinkled seeds. Now we left with only one trait. We know that this parent is homozygous recessive for the color and uh, this one has yellow seeds and this one has green seeds. So let's see if this trait segregates in the progeny. So we have yellow and green, yellow and green so this yellow plus uh, this yellow would make uh, 40 and green plus green here also would make 40. So uh, as for this trait we see that in progeny it segregated with ratio 1 to 1 and we would have such segregation if one parent would be heterozygous and another one would be homozygous recessive. If we cross these two traits, would make a Punnett square, you would see that 50% of the progeny would be yellow and 50% of the progeny would be green. And this is exactly what we see here. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please write your comments, questions if you have any. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.